afternoon students hope you are all well and doing your studies properly now this is again a computer class where i am going to start a new chapter look at your book the chapter name is computers and me it is chapter 4 in your book in this chapter we will learn that how does a computer is useful in our life in the previous chapters what we have learned in this class there we have learned that what is a machine you know that still i am just revising that thing that a machine is a man made things which things makes our work easier like that we fan refrigerator washing machine different kinds of vehicles what not whenever the machine has been invented our lives become more easy same way computer is also a machine because it is made by human being and it makes our work easier in various ways then in the second chapter we have learned that that what are the parts of computer computer basically has four main parts that is keyboard mouse monitor and cpu except that one some additional parts are also there like that way some uh, scanners printer joystick storage devices like cds pen drive blu ray disc etc and so on third chapter we have learned that so there only basically the practical portion has started there we have learned that how to start a computer what is the proper way because if you don't know the steps how to switch on the machine there are the chances of your machine to get damaged there we have learned that what is the proper way to start a computer and shut down a computer up to this we have learned in our previous session here we are going to learn that the because of the chapter named as computers and me that is how does a computer is helpful in our daily life like that way specific machines has a specific purpose refrigerator makes our food fresh keep our food fresh and we can store the things for several days television has a tv has a separate purpose dvd has a separate pa functions calculator has a separate function but this machine is only where different kinds of functions can be done at a time and we can get different kinds of facilities by a single machines what are these in this chapter that has discussed now let's take a look in your book in the first picture here a girl there is a call outs this symbol has given and another call outs these are called call outs other call outs has been given that the girl is thinking that what the things she can do by a computer you can watch movies so this is used to watch movies solve sums you can do mathematical calculations you can send letters which is called emails to your friends or relatives you can draw pictures you can make greeting card suppose your friends birthday is coming or you want to give a father's day or mother's day card to your father or mother then only you can make the greeting cards through this way you need then only a printer if you want a hard copy of this you can do calculations if you are getting bored during your work time then you can listen to music you can record your voice and you can listen is later on and so many works can be done through this computer the same thing i have written there on the boards second time that take a glance of that that is we can record our voice we can watch movies we can solve sums i hope you have understood this we can type text we can make greeting cards different kinds of beautiful greeting cards has been made how to do this we will learn this in our higher classes then you will get so much interest by making these things you can draw pictures you already know how to use pen you can listen to music you can send emails and so many are also there which i have not written here so a computer can do several types of stuff by a single set of machines so so then only it has written that way features of a computer a computer can help us in doing various tasks what i have just just now discussed but there are some jobs that a computer cannot do what are the things a computer cannot do and what the computers can do these things i am coming to discuss in my next video class there only in this class i have strained to discuss the different tasks 
what we can do through our computer, what the facilities we get. In my next class, I am going to discuss that which the computers cannot do and which the things a computer and a human being both can do. So, stay safe, stay well and learn these things until which I have discussed in this class. For today only, bye-bye.